the standard practice generally we start with or put more emphasis on regression of yi on xi. Now, in case of regression of yi on xi, These are the scatter points. And in this case, This axis we are measuring its side along this axis, vertical axis y y. Now, in case of y i on x i, we consider the vertical distance, the vertical distance of a scatter from the feet this kind of vertical distance, okay? So this we consider as error. Now, if this is the fitted line and this is a scatter, you can consider these as residual two, okay? Residual two. If I consider the bold line is the fitted line, you know? uh, not the hypothetical line, rather the fitted line. So in that case, these are the residuals. Whereas in the other case, this is, in this case, I'm considering regression. In this case, we consider the horizontal distance. Okay, we consider the horizontal distance from the fitted line to the scatter. So here we consider this horizontal distance and we minimize this horizontal error. These horizontal elements are considered as errors or residuals, etc. So we will minimize all these things. And in case of regression of yi on xi, as you are understanding, we minimize the vertical gaps. You know. The residual will be considered as the vertical distance of the scatter from the line, from the fitted line. Okay, so earlier when we discussed about the regression line, we discussed the entire analysis. We, mean, as, a, as residual, we considered the vertical distance of the scatter from the fitted line. Now, in context of reverse regression, when we will consider the regression of xi on yi, okay, that is, we are writing the regression as xi is equal to alpha prime plus beta prime yi plus vi for all i is equal to 1 to 2 n. So this is the structure of the regression model. Xi is regressed on yi. Okay. So we will consider this part now. We will consider this particular part now. Okay. So you checked the structure of the regression model. And we are defining RSS as summation EI square. You know, 
all this x and y is read as the capital x and y and as i mentioned the regression equation is given by let me write the regression equation once again this is the structure of the regression equation so residual is given by xi ei that is given by xi minus alpha hat prime minus this is the residual okay yi minus yi hat was the residual earlier here it is xi minus xi hat xi minus xi hat that is the structure of the residual so residual sum of squares that is given by summation i is equal to 1 to n xi minus alpha hat prime minus beta hat prime yi whole square of that and then i am following the same procedure so we will minimize rss with respect to the required first order conditions Given as follows. Okay. Del RSS by del alpha hat prime that is equal to zero. From there, you know how to take the derivative. You did everything when we considered the regression of yi on xi. So we are following the same method. So del RSS by del alpha hat prime that is generating the value of alpha hat prime is equal to x bar minus beta hat prime y bar so what was the value of alpha hat that was y bar minus beta hat x bar here alpha hat prime is becoming x bar minus beta hat prime y bar any question regarding the deviation of the value of alpha hat prime the intercept term here in case of reverse regression Is it okay to everyone? And this is very, very similar, you know, because the method is very similar. We are doing the OLS. We are doing everything same. Okay. So earlier, in case of yi on xi, this is the structure. And here, the alpha hat prime, that is x bar minus beta hat prime y. Okay, so this is the difference. This is the difference. They are very, very similar to each other. Next, we can derive the value for beta hat prime. So we are considering del RSS by del beta hat prime. Using the first order condition, we are setting the derivative to be equal to zero. And then we are multiplying this yi term with xi, you know, alpha hat prime, summation yi, the summation is also there, so I'm operating the sum as well, minus beta hat prime, summation yi square, that is equal to zero, or summation xi yi minus beta hat prime, summation yi square, that is equal to x bar minus beta hat prime y bar into summation yi. So summation, uh, the, the terms related to summation yi that I kept in the right hand side, now summation xi yi is the first term and you know beta hat prime is here and here so beta hat prime i'm bringing here rather this summation y that is giving n y bar so n y bar into x bar this n x bar y bar i'm putting here so minus n x bar y bar 
equal to beta hat prime common summation y i square minus n y bar square. Okay. And from there, you will get the value for beta hat prime, which is summation x i y i minus n x bar y bar divided by summation y i square minus n y bar square, which is also equivalent to summation x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar divided by summation y i minus y bar whole square or s x y by s y bar. So what is the change between beta hat and beta hat prime? The numerator is same, numerator is identical. However, here in the denominator, we are getting summation y i minus y bar whole square, whereas in case of beta hat, we get it to be summation x i minus x bar whole square. So for the regression of y i on x i, beta hat over less, that is given by summation And in case of reverse regression, the same kind of beta hat is given by the numerator is same. The denominator is changing. It is not allowing to write me here. Here you so this is the thing any question anything Sam, could you keep it at this slide for a minute yeah I'm working on the last line okay orko yes ma'am so the two estimators are with us we got the value for alpha hat prime and we are also getting the value of beta hat prime. So Aratrik, should I move to the next slide? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So next, if I consider the ANOVA part, I'm writing RSS as RSS prime, you know. So to keep a difference between the regression of YI on XI and XI on YI, you know, I'm using the term prime. I'm just differentiating using the using prime. So RSS prime here is given by summation xi minus xi hat whole square. In case of the earlier one, it was yi minus yi hat. And here we are considering xi minus xi hat. So in the next step, I am replacing xi hat by the estimated value alpha hat prime minus beta hat prime yi. So RSS can be presented in this way, xi minus alpha hat prime minus beta hat prime yi. Okay, so in the next step, I am considering xi minus x bar, you know, beta hat prime y bar, basically this thing is there. If you take minus common, beta hat prime yi minus beta hat prime y bar, okay? So with xi, I am taking x bar. With beta hat prime yi, I am taking beta hat prime y bar. Can we do this? Please check. From the regression equation, please check whether I can do this. I can do this if and only if x bar is equal to beta hat prime y bar. Hmm, yes. 
yes so you know i am putting the value of yes very good i am putting the value of alpha hat prime so it is xi minus x bar plus beta hat prime y bar minus beta hat prime yi <clears throat> and then i am keeping xi minus x bar here taking beta hat prime common so i am getting yi minus y bar whole square so please check all the steps whether it is clear or not actually i want to see whether here also tss is equal to ess plus rss so i'll consider the expansion of this whole square so a square plus b square minus 2ab and operating the sum as well on all three terms so we are getting this presentation Okay. Now this beta hat prime summation y i minus y bar whole square. What is the value of beta hat prime? This is the value of beta hat prime. So beta hat prime into summation y i minus y bar whole square is equal to summation x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar. Beta hat prime into this. Is equal to summation x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar. So what I am doing in place of beta hat prime summation y i minus y bar, I can write beta hat prime one beta hat prime will be there. So beta hat prime summation x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar. So what I am trying to tell you in place of this term i can write this beta hat prime square summation yi minus y bar whole square this can be written as Is it all right to everyone? And once I write this thing, I can subtract this term. I can subtract this term from this term. Okay. So I have this line is equal to I have that is from this line. I can come here. Okay. So this part is nothing but TSS. So this is TSS. Variation in the dependent variable. So it is TSS. And this part, part is nothing but ESS. So ultimately we are finding that RSS is equal to TSS minus ESS. Or we can write TSS is equal to ESS plus RSS. Any question? Okay, so here I have used uh, notations in terms of uh, a square x y a square y y you know s x y etc and i think you are understanding the matters now next we consider the measure of goodness of fit
which is given by r squared is equal to ess by tss it is a simple model it's a two variable case so simple r squared is equal to multiple r squared is equal to partial r squared so simply r squared we are putting here r squared is equal to ess by tss you know and we are putting the value of ess as well as tss so let's go back to this okay so tss is sxx and ess is this part you know so we are putting those values here okay so ess by tss can be presented as a square xy divided by sxx plus sy by syy is the tss part and ess is given by a square xy by sxx now beta hat that is if i consider the regression of yi on xi that is given by sxy by sxx and if i consider beta hat prime that is if i consider the regression of xi on yi in that case beta hat is given by sxy by syy the denominator is varying numerator is same sxy in the first case the denominator is summation xi minus x bar whole square or sxx in the second case the denominator is summation yi minus y bar whole square or s y bar so if i write beta hat into beta hat prime that is s x y by s x x into s x y by s y bar so this can alternatively be written as a square x y divided by s x x into s y bar which is equivalent to r square R square was given by ESS by TSS, and we got ESS by TSS is nothing but this value: S square x y divided by S x x S y y. So if I multiply beta hat with beta hat prime, that is, if I consider the product of regression coefficients of y i on x i and x i on y i, we get this to be equal to R square. this is equal to r square okay any question is it clear to all of you yes ma'am ma'am uh, what is the significance of the result that beta hat into beta hat prime is equal to r square many a times we need this thing that the regression coefficient of y i on x i and uh, uh, multiplied with xi on yi is equal to r square we will find that in our regression analysis many a times we use this kind of thing this relation actually i told you not to check madala's problem number 4 just now i'll move to problem number 4 in madala and you will find that we have to use this relation so we have to use this relation okay to prove that prove that particular problem okay and if r square is equal to 1 from this relation you know if we find that if r square this is also an important result which we need to use under several circumstances the regression coefficient of yi on xi is exactly equal to the reverse the regression coefficient uh, uh, sorry uh, that is equal to one up on the regression coefficient of xi on yi but for this matter we need that r square should be equal to 1 r square should be equal to 1 okay so ess by tss is equal to 1 when r square is equal to 1 beta hat into beta hat prime is equal to 1 and in that case the regression coefficient of yi on xi is exactly equal to 1 upon 
the regression coefficient of xi on yi. Actually, from here, we will move towards two lines will merge with each other if r squared is equal to one, this kind of things. So I want to move to the numerical exercise or I want to move to the proofs, you know, so that you understand the relevance of uh, doing this thing. Okay, so with this, I'm moving to question number four from Madala. So everybody has the book with you. So you can open the book or you can write the problem. It's not a big one, so you can write it. Show that, show that. The simple regression line of yi against xi, simple regression line of yi against xi coincides with the, coincides with the simple regression line of xi against yi, simple regression line of xi against yi if and only if, if and only if, r square is equal to 1. If and only if, r square is equal to 1. Show that the simple regression line of y on x coincides with the simple regression line of xi on yi, if and only if, r square is equal to 1. Now, if in a, in a question there is if and only if, that means you have to prove the necessary as well as the sufficient conditions. Okay, the necessary as well as the sufficient condition. If is the sufficient condition, only if is the necessary condition. So what actually we need to show that if the two regression lines merge with each other, then R square is equal to one, okay? And then we need to show that if r square is equal to 1, the lines will merge with each other. Okay? So both the sufficient as well as the necessary conditions we need to check. Okay? So let's do the exercise. So first we will prove that First, we have to do this. If r square is equal to 1, the two regression lines will merge with each other. Okay. So for that matter, first, we have to show that. Already you did this thing just now. Okay, so you need know that beta hat is the regression coefficient of y i on x i. So you have to show this. Just now I, uh, you know, presented this thing. Therefore, I am not doing it once again. That we are regressing y i on x i. Okay. Now 
the regression that is given by I am considering the estimated value I'm replacing alpha hat This can be when we write the things in this way. Can we replace beta hat by this formula? Ma'am, what have you written? R S Y by S X. Can we write beta hat in this way? Please tell me, are you understanding? Can we write the thing in this way? No, I'm going to boost the ball. I'm going to keep it. Akira? Tom, could you explain that? Why it's R, S, Y, my X, S, X? How I'm writing beta hat is equal to R into S, Y by S, X. How I'm writing this? You can use the notation small s y by small s x. S x x means and when we use the single notation in that case that means square root of the thing. S Y Y means summation Y I minus Y bar whole square. S X Y means summation X I in uh, minus X bar into Y I minus Y bar. So when we use the single notation S X S Y, that indicates square root of the things. So if this is square root of if S X. Can we write beta hat in this way? Yes, ma'am. How we are writing this? 
what is the formula for r square root of mam square root of sx y by sx into s y y this is the formula for r square root of covariance and the denominator square root of variance of xi square root of variance of yi okay so if i multiply so i have r into sy by sx Okay, so this R into S Y by S X is basically this one. So this summation Y I minus Y bar whole square that will be cancelled. Okay, and we are getting this square root and this square root. So sorry when i wrote r i did it so ultimately it is becoming covariance which is equal to beta okay so r is basically covariance divided by square root of two variances uh, you know in the numerator there is no square root only in the denominator there will be square roots so the, if this is the formula for r you know beta hat now are you understanding beta hat is equal to r sy by sx everybody yes ma'am okay so we can write in this format okay we can use this format call this equation number 1 this is equation number 1 okay i hope rest of the things are fine to all of you and i can wrap some part otherwise i'm not getting any place is this part okay to all of you yes ma'am i'm writing beta hat is equal to this so let me clean the old in the similar fashion we can start with regression of from xi on yi and can present the matter Really, really difficult. 
prophet notes to teach this kind of things using this such a small board. So now I got some space. All right. Next. Um. This is given by. Somebody wanted to say something? Yes. I mean, we tell them that order numerator ta, so ta covariance of x y hai, ne root ta hai na. Covariance of x should be root of na. Acha. Order formula ta dekho. Pearson's product moment correlation er formula ta dekho. R is equal to covariance divided by square root of variances. ठीक है जी, wrongly I just you know considered square root of the things, and when we will consider R square, it will be square of the covariance in the numerator and in the denominator it will be variance of x y into variance of y. Okay. Okay, so here. I'll replace alpha hat prime. Now, what is the value of alpha hat prime? Anyone? X bar minus beta hat uh, y bar dashed. Sorry, beta hat dashed y bar. Okay, so we can write or. Now, in place of y i minus y bar, I'll place this equation. This time a six okay. Is it okay to all of you? So in the next step, what we will do? So I'm writing the regression of y i on x i and x i on y i. Okay. So I'm writing the two equations in this format. So next, what I'll do? So all these things are in your hand. Beta hat is equal to one upon beta hat prime. This you know, and all these things are with you. Miss. Yeah. 
Miss, uh, where you when you substituted the value for x i minus x bar in the last equation you typed, shouldn't it be divided by beta hat in, in equation two? I simply wrote the equation. You know, beta hat prime. That will be in terms of beta hat prime, and beta hat prime is R S X by S Y. I didn't get your question, Shivani. Would you please repeat? Okay, Miss. I think I got confused by the writings on the board. In the Sorry. same, in the same way, I showed beta hat is equal to cos x i y i divided by variance of x i. In the same way. we can do this for beta hat prime and we can show beta hat prime is equal to r s x by s y is it now okay shivani is it now okay yes i understood i think i got a bit confused okay yes miss okay so next let me next we have to use the relation beta hat is equal to 1 upon beta hat prime so i am using equation number 2 when r square is equal to 1 beta hat is equal to 1 upon beta hat prime or beta hat prime is equal to 1 upon beta hat that i have used so if i write this thing or y i minus y bar okay so this is same to equation number 1 you know so if you look at this equation if you look at this equation and to this equation so from 2 you can add so in general when we do these things we do not use this hat term you know you know we do not use this hat term in the analysis however you can do this because somebody may ask you know in case of equation number 
you have xi minus x bar and here i am getting xi hat minus x bar you know so it is only you know the difference between the observed and the estimated that kind of thing okay so uh the standard practices for this this kind of problems generally we write yi is equal to alpha hat plus beta hat xi and xi is equal to alpha hat prime beta hat prime yi so if you present in this way in that case even uh, you know this kind of things will be not there you will get yi minus y bar is equal to beta hat into xi minus x bar so next time when you will do this you may since you are uh, learning the things therefore i use the hat of notation so next time when you will do this thing you can for this kind of problem you can write yi is equal to observed is basically the fitted xi is equal to again alpha hat plus beta hat prime yi so in that case there will be no difference between the left hand side and the right hand side in terms of hat 2 or you can do in, in the same way conceptually therefore the lines are merging with each other so please add hence the two lines will merge with each other hence the two lines will merge with each other these are similar these are similar when r square is equal to 1 i am writing the regression of yi on xi and then i am writing regression of xi on yi then in regression of xi on yi i am replacing beta hat prime by 1 by beta hat okay and then we are getting we are getting back the earlier equation that is regression of yi on xi okay so when r square is equal to 1 two regression lines will merge with each other okay so the if part or the sufficient part is proved the sufficient part is proved any question ma'am bolchilam je baadike je xi hat or y hat er hat gulo bad debo oi ta ei equation ta hat will be hat i i told you to not to put hat or otherwise you can do the things in the same way it will there is no harm in putting hat however if you want the perfect similarity between the things don't use hat in the uh, left hand side that i told you bat to dite boli no no mane oi is equal to alpha hat plus beta hat xi and uh, the other equation you write xi is equal to alpha hat prime plus beta hat prime yi that's all any other question so next we will go for the next part that is the only if part the necessary part What is this? this kind of thing if two regression equations merge with each other then r square is equal to 1 I'm not using the hat. And the other equation is
so the first one is regression of yi on xi and the second one is xi on yi Now the second equation so for the second equation I'm writing over one upon R Can we write the thing in this way? Better, let me mark because there will be too many equations otherwise. Let me mark this as equation number two. Is it okay? Equation number two is fine. When they will merge with each other? Please let me know. You know, you have equation number one in your hand, you have equation number two in your hand. One and two will merge with each other if what happens? Um, and that coefficient term has to be equal. Okay, so uh, if do you want to mean this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is the thing. If two regression lines match with each other, in that case, R squared is equal to 1. So this is the necessary part. And the earlier one was the sufficient part. If R squared is equal to 1, in that case, the two lines will merge with each other. Okay, and then you will find in Johnstone and Donado. Let me check. 1.11 question number 1.11 okay so try question number 1.11 so i'm just uh, telling you the question let us consider the other or reverse regression reverse regression the process of defining residuals in the X direction and minimizing the new RSS gives the regression of X on Y. So that I discussed. Here we measure the horizontal distance. When we define error, errors are horizontal errors. There are thus at least two possible regressions, but only one R square can be computed for a given data set. What is interpretation of R square in the regression of X on Y? Okay, so this is the first question. So what will be the interpretation of R square in regression of X on Y? So that I hope we will be able to do. That is already discussed. Then the question is prove that R square is equal to BYX into BXY, where Bs are the least square slopes of the respective regressions. Hence, show that BYX less than equal to 1 upon BXY. Okay, within bracket, provided both slopes are positive and that viewed in the XY plane, 
with y on vertical axis and x on horizontal axis uh, that is you know everything is in the positive quadrant and we can look at the matters so this is the first part and there is a second part you know where they are telling that there are 200 observations they are giving summation capital x summation capital y summation capital x square summation capital y square summation capital x y estimate both regression equations that means y on x and x on y compute r square so you have to find out ess and ts ess by tss or r square in some other way from both the regressions and confirm the foregoing state statements you know and you have to confirm that you know uh, r square is equal to byx by b, uh, byx into bxy so you have to show all these things so first you calculate up to 2 r square and then in the next class i can discuss the matter problem number 1.11 problem number 1.11 from johnston and genado look at the problem calculate everything if you can complete it then it's fine otherwise the last part i'll discuss in the class ma'am yeah, interpretation mane ota expression ta mane ekta ekto khani shobi jodi bole debo ar to questions nei na if you then ask me je aro koto gulo reference bolun je kan theke practice kor we don't have any there is a book by kimenta that is not available uh, as a soft copy and now we will be not able to go to the library and we will be not able to collect anything so we will first look at the things so you have the ability try to develop the matters 